you play Expeditions by Stormare Games, but how do I like the game? Let me now delve into my thoughts on Expeditions. A game with impressive components and stunning artwork, I gotta say. Like the insert is really well designed, you can see that on my channel when I unbox and rebox it, and contributing to an overall excellent feel. However, I must admit the game feels somewhat overproduced, particularly with the oversized tiles here that consume excessive table space. That is really a lot here. Look, look how much that is. That is incredible. That is just way too much. While visually appealing, it's a challenge to find like adequate room for gameplay, especially with larger player counts. I wouldn't know how to play with like four or five players. Um, that is like crazy. Moving on to gameplay. Uh, Expeditions offers a clever mechanism that combines hand, worker and resource management. The ability to cover one action to unlock others like prevents like repetitive strategies. Maintaining a dynamic gameplay experience is essentially a race to outmaneuver opponents while also accumulating more points. A delicate balance that adds depth to the game. Additionally, the variety of cards, mechs, and companions ensure diverse strategies and exploration. I really enjoy that. In terms of long-term replayability, there's a slight ambiguity. I'm not quite sure, because while the game offers various elements to explore, such as like different powers and abilities, the core gameplay does remain relatively consistent. However, I anticipate many more plays to fully uncover the game's nuances and depth. Despite the presence of strong random elements by um, like with all these cards, Skill does play a significant role in expeditions. With each play, there's a learning curve, highlighting the game's depth and potential for mastery. And I can see that myself. I have now, I think, mastered level two. I'm like pretty good at that. And now I can dive into the next level. Like most of my games, the solo mode really excels, providing a streamlined experience with minimal overhead and a satisfying challenge, even though I won here quite easily. Regarding player count, I would not recommend expeditions for more than three players due to potential lengthening of playtime. And also, of course, because of the table space. While the gameplay is solid and enjoyable, it doesn't really justify prolonged sessions with larger groups. In summary, Expedition stands out as a very good game, boasting exceptional artwork and components. Despite the size issue, the gameplay offers variety in depth, presenting players with a small rule set packed with tactical and strategic choices. For these reasons, I am awarding it the Silver Sir Thakos Ace of Games Award, and rightfully so. Well, that concludes my playthrough and review of Expeditions by Stone Maya Games. Thank you again to Stone Maya Games for providing me with a physical review copy. I'm really happy that I own this game now. As usual, I want to express my gratitude to each one of you, especially my generous patrons and Thakono, especially my highest tier supporter. Your support means the world to me. Also, a shout out to Ryan Hall, who also supports me at the highest tier. I had just recorded this video before he started supporting me, which is why I'm adding this while editing this video. Thank you very much as well. That's very generous. If you enjoy my content, you can support me by watching, liking and commenting on my videos, subscribing to my channel, joining my Discord server or becoming a patron yourself. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video or my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.